In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the 7 2 build that can do pretty much everything you want, um, especially on the center build and NBA 2K23. We're going to be taking a break today. We're not going to be, you know, going to the right, no right gameplay just yet. I haven't made this build, and that's just because your boy's been busy, bro. I've been making tons of builds. I haven't made another build this morning, and you guys will see the future gameplay of that. So, unfortunately, I make a lot of great builds, but I can't play on every single one of them. And this is one of those builds I'm like, you know what? Before making it, let me just show it to some of you guys because some of you guys might be interested in making, especially the 7 2s. You guys love the 7 2 build. So I thought I'd give you guys a 7 2 build to, you know, maybe get you started for the next season. Or, you know, if you're already playing this season, you're looking for something new, something fresh, this build will definitely help you out. So with the height, we're going to go 7 2, we're going to go minimum weight, and we're going to go max wingspan. Okay, that's what the body shape body type up to you brother again your boy is always going to find because we define in real life anyways we're going to get into the attributes right here now what i really like about this build is you're able to get pretty much every single category filled out right i've seen a lot of builds on you know i've seen other people's builds where they make 72 bigs and they have like a a, a 20 perimeter defense or like a 20 still you already know i'm a two-way player bro like if we ain't got defense we're not playing we're not making the build so with this build if you really analyze it you can pretty much do every single thing in the game especially for a big okay my biggest weakness or my biggest worry or concern about a build like this would be the strength okay this is a build with a low strength which is 73 but i've seen people make like 60 strength build and they're okay with it but that is still going to be my only weakness on this build but in order to counter the low strength we actually went to a 94 offensive board which also gives us hall of fame if you guys can see we get hall of fame box with a 94 so that's hopefully to sort of help you out now some of you guys might be uncomfortable not uncomfortable some of you guys might prefer to have defensive rebound as opposed to offensive rebound i'm an offensive guy you know i'm always thinking about offensive second chance points so if you guys want to sort of swap it around this way and have a 94 like that instead as you guys can see nothing really changes it's still the same things up to you but for me personally i just kind of like having an offensive rebound now if you look at the the shooting you'll be able to shoot three point very very well your mid-range is there you can you know get a gold medium magician so you can fade um, also your driving dunk you get that slithery and limitless takeoff on a 7-2 build that is insane and your closure is there bro so you get fast twitch on this and also an extra you know finishing badge which is 22 get a standing dunk and you have 87 post control the 87 post control is also to allow you to get quick first step now the playmaking on this build is super underrated and i want to explain in a second why this is super underrated the reason is because if you've hit level 40 or 39 every single season like i have I get plus eight off rip, right? That basically means I can put my plus six badges on playmaking, right? As you guys can see, at the moment, I only have 11 playmaking badge points. So if I put plus six on playmaking, it would allow me to get 17 playmaking badge points, which would allow me to get gold unplockable off, like not off rip, but I can essentially get gold unplockable on this build. So imagine a 7-2 build that is fast as hell, because this is the fastest 7-2 build you're gonna be able to make. Okay, you can jump like crazy because you've got max vertical as well, right? And then guys are going to struggle to strip you because you have that gold unplockable. Now, with 52 ball handling, this is just to, you know, it's not going to give you a crazy animation, but it's also just to stop you from getting like fumbling the ball a lot, okay? if Again, it's not going to entirely remove those fumbling animations if you try to over dribble, but it certainly helps you in terms of not like just fumbling the ball every time you try to move. So this really is going to help you out. Um, and again, that's pretty much it. The interior defense, you get, you know, post lockdown. That's all you need, bro. You only need 82, the sweet spot. And also, you're tall, okay? You're sick, you're seven two. you're fast as hell. Silver anchor, that's all I use on like 90% of my builds, and I don't struggle on them. Even my 6'8 slashing 5 that you guys see, the undersized center, he has a, you know, silver anchor build. So, what I'm going to do as well, because a lot of you guys love to ask about, you know, the, the badges. I'm going to show you how I'm going to set this badge up without, the you know, the plus eight or whatever. So if you guys are wondering, okay, what kind of, you know, what should I do with the badges and everything? I'm going to show you guys. Um, takeovers, you get the sharp take, you get the rim takeover, a rebounding takeover, and a post takeover, which is essentially pretty much all you need for a build like this, okay? You're, you're fast, you're going to be quick, you can chase guys down, you can get rebounds, you can shoot the ball go in the post listen you can do everything as much as you want in a build like this bro trust me you're gonna it's gonna be super fun um so we're gonna take this and we are gonna complete the build and now we're gonna get into the badge setup the name of the build unfortunately not I, I for some reason 
2K doesn't like me, bro. 2K be giving me the weirdest names, bro. The same name. I'm so tired of seeing Glass can finish her. But I tried to get a different name, but I had to mess up with the stats and I didn't want to do that. So I just kind of just ignored it. So we're going to test the build. I'm going to show you guys how I'll personally set up the badge on a build like this. Um, because again, you guys are always asking, where should I put a plus four? Um, so very quickly, straight away, Arrow Wizard, bro. Arrow Wizard, if you guys don't use Arrow Wizard, super underrated. Of course, we're going to have Slithery. And limitless takeoff. Um, Acrobat is completely down to you, but fearless is also a very good badge. But for now, we're gonna ignore those two because of, a, of your of your high post control. I would definitely highly recommend always having post spin technician very high. Now you do have a low strength, so there's no point in going for back down punisher because a lot of the guys you're gonna be facing are gonna have like 80 plus strength. So even with back down punisher, you're still gonna have a hard time backing them down so just kind of ignore that section completely again with the drop step you can put drop step on but for me i just find those animations are way too inconsistent and if you ever do ever get a switch onto a guard anyway with your 87 post control you're a bit you're going to be able to drop step them even without the badge okay so we're going to ignore those two now when it comes to this you need fast twitch and you need rise up so as you guys can see, I called one of the finishing badges and I put my stuff on Rise Up. So we still have plus four to, to mess with. Now you can put this and you can put this on. Um, or if you want to, I know some of you guys are like, yeah, I need posterizer, Kurt. So you can put a posterizer, but it's only bronze anyway. And I've been using a lot of my builds. I don't even use posterizer anymore. So listen, it's completely down to how you want to do it. But posterizer, okay, listen, I'll take it off. The way, if you want to know how I'll personally do it, I'm going to show you how I will personally do this build right now. This is how I'll personally do it. Okay, I'll do it like this and that. This is my personal take on it because Air Wizard is so, so underrated. It's such an underrated badge. It, can, it helps with all the alley oops. Now, with your finishing, your shooting badges, you need slippery off ball, bro. If you don't use slippery off ball, <laughs> this build is cored on it. This badge is cored on all my builds. Every single build that, that I've got always have Hall of Fame for slippery off ball. You get Midi Magician on this build. You also get Blinders, you get Claymore. Um, now at this point you can opt to choose you know go for catch and shoot if you want to uh but really for me i think if you know your jump shot you don't necessarily need catch and shoot okay you can just go for claymore and clutch shooter okay that way in the clutch if you get fouled all your stats are boosted up or even if you're wide open for a three with your playmaking um now if you don't have the you know the plus six like i'm gonna have on this build this is how i'm gonna basically do it i'm gonna call a quick first step uh, and then i'm gonna also give bronze bailout and break starter and we're gonna get clamp breaker and special delivery okay this is like my so my my go-to every single time i always use special delivery and silver and for the defensive one which is gonna get a little bit tricky okay because i feel like we need way too many defensive badges okay like there's way too much stuff we need to be able to make this build look nice and everything so personally this is how i'll do the initial setup um we need interceptor bro trust me you need interceptor now this is how i would do it okay now this doesn't look super impressive uh, realistically because you know you do want that post lockdown because certain centers and it's also nice to have off ball pest and challenger but if if you have your plus four for example then you can choose to opt to put your plus three right here and then put plus one on challenger okay so these are for the people that have plus four if you're relatively new to the game that's how i would personally do it but if you have the plus eight like my you know like i'm gonna have i'll put plus six on playmaking and then i'll double court if you have the double court because you guys if you guys don't know is i haven't caught any of my shooting yet and that's just a natural habit because i don't call shooting um, anymore if you're able to double court so if you can double core this you're gonna have another seven which can then spread through through your defensive badges and another um four badges to, to put through so this is gonna be a really really nice solid build for a lot of you guys um, and that's exactly how i'm going to do it also what i'm going to do i'm going to show you guys some quick gameplay that i got in the tester because i always try to test this build right just to make sure it's solid um i try to replicate my play style in rec um for a lot of this gameplay for you guys but if there's anything else there's jump shot i'm going to post a jump shot uh towards the end as well like a screenshot of the jump shot i'm going to be using for you guys so if you guys are struggling for a jump shot and a big that's going to really really help you out but that's pretty much the build man this is a 7-2 build it's going to be very quick because you're going to be able to move very, very well. And yeah, you're going to get have loads and loads and loads and loads of fun on, the, on a build like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Again, I'll show you guys some quick gameplay on this build and we'll see how it goes. 
So here we are in the test, as you guys can see. What I try to do in the test that a lot of people don't um, understand, as you guys can see, this this is a 7-2 build. Look how the, the build the build's moving very, very well. But as you guys can see, when I play this tester build, I try to play, I'm uh, trying to replicate the way I play in the actual in-game scenarios and try to get the same kind of, you know, situations through. And you guys can see a pick and pop right there, a pick and drive, you know, a Euro step. You guys have seen me do this every single time. And it feels really good on this build. Again, I'm just trying to replicate the way I would actually play defense as you guys see the block on this build is very good now bear in mind also with this you know build a tester thing i can't choose my animations you can't equip dung packages as you guys can see that is a 7-2 build move in the case but what it does is it kind of gives you an indication of how this build is going to play when you, once you've actually made it um even with the basic that's the basic dribble style right there so for me i'm very confident that this build is going to play well as you guys can see this is on the break by the way look how quickly i'm moving i know it's a tester i know the the difficulty here isn't the you know the, the it's like super easy or whatever but that's why i'm just trying to replicate in-game scenarios rather than just try to do like base you know the, the basic stuff as you guys can see even whilst you're underneath the rim you had the 80 standing dunk bro and also you guys saw the, the little post spin and again bearing in mind i told you guys about the drop stepper animation if you go up against a guard that doesn't have post post control you don't need drop stepper to to successfully do it of course centers have post lockdown um but again look the build is super athletic bro so that 87 anchor or 80 you know, silver anchor is going to be completely fine now i did say to you guys with this build you will be able to shoot the fade as well you've got that gold medium magician so again i tried to replicate the way i would play in the actual game scenario um, on the fast break right here against you know Aiden, which is a you know he's a you know I would say a solid defender, not, not the best defensively. I mean he's getting cooked up by Jokic in the playoff right now. But even if you wanted to shoot deep, bear in mind you can also get a sharp take on this build again. This is some random ass jump shot, but when you see you have that sharp take, you're able to shoot limitless um, on a 7-2 build. But once again, look, we're getting into the post hook. So I told you, once you're able to, you know, with the 76, if you know how to hook properly, you're not gonna have any issues sort of timing it down. Uh, but right here, Chris Paul, we're just gonna sort of end it and just, <laughs> just send that, just send that away from here. But I did say to you guys, I'm also gonna show you the screenshot of my jump shot that I used. So some of you guys always love to ask. This is the jump shot, as you guys can see, A plus, A minus, A speed, and a D plus time and impact. So you get the best of everything when it comes to this jump shot. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and we're gonna get to, we're gonna get some more rec gameplay um, very, very soon. And I will catch you guys in the next one.